in South Africa and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Jeannie Dean. I'm so happy to be back in the loft after a sensational holiday. I'm really happy and festively plump. But today it's our favorite day of the week. It's time for Afternoon Express Cook Along, where you get to make dinner along with us live on air. And I hope you visited afternoonexpress.co.today for the recipe and the shopping list and got all of your ingredients together. I've got everything I need, including two of my very own chefs. We've got Clem Pedro and Akunae Ngoni. Oh, yeah. I got it right, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So how are you? Good to I'm see good, you. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for having me back. We so love having you here, so we're very excited to get cooking with you. And Clem, as always, such yeah. a pleasure to have you. So I've got a whole bunch of ingredients, including two amazing steaks, mm -hmm. but what are we going to do with them? So Kuni has given us a very beautiful recipe today with, it's actually, if you're kind of watching the carbs right now, it's the ideal recipe. It's steaks. Cooked the perfect way, uh, no pressure. Yeah. Served in little lettuce cups. Yeah. It's so good. And then I've taken inspiration from that, so I'm gonna do a cold, like spicy hot noodle salad with some steaks over that as well. Oh. But first, talking about the holidays yes. and the year, yes. it's been a little healthy. I'm gonna teach you how to do a beautiful low sugar granola. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, brilliant! Summer's coming. So if you want this recipe on your mobile device, it's simple. Just SMS the keyword eat to double three six five zero. SMSs are one hundred fifty each. No free SMSs apply. Plus, if your TV is a little bit far from your kitchen, we are streaming live on YouTube, so you can watch on your device and catch every step. Now, if you've got any culinary questions or if you get stuck along the way, then don't hesitate to call us live on zero two one four three zero nine double eight one. And on our Twitter and Facebook pages, we are asking which Asian dish is your favorite? And your options are number one, sweet and sour pork, two, stir fry chicken, three, corner noodle soup, or four, chicken chow mein. What is yours? Um, mine's actually beautiful bao, but out of all of those, I'm gonna go with the chicken chow mein. Yeah, Make sure I it's like hot though. A, I like a pad thai, to be yeah. quite honest. But you know what my favorite Asian dish is really? Have you ever had a really good wakab me salad? Yes. Any wow. seaweed for me. Any seaweed. So good. Just seaweed, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so good. What's your favorite Asian dish? I'd say the sweet and sour pork. That me yeah. and pork any day, that's me. Okay, I'm that good. guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a full Asian persuasion in the love today. Now, joining us for our cook along is a man who rose to fame in 2013 when he walked away as winner of Idol season nine. In the four short years since, he has walked away with multiple awards, including a Sama and a Metro FM award. And his second album, Mr. Serious, has sold more than 100,000 copies since its release last year. It's Musa Sukwini. Welcome to Afternoon Express. Hey, thank you for having me there. Wow, so the last four year years of your life yes. must have been such an insane journey. Tell me, take me before Idols though. You are from Pumalanga. Yes, 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 yes. And when did you move to Joburg? Before Idols or afterwards? Before, way before Idols. Okay. Way before Idols. To pursue your musical career. Yes, yes, yes. I moved into Joburg 2004. Yeah. I was in Joburg since 2004 doing yeah. different like, what I'm, were you doing? Like, I know you, you moved to go and pursue your music yeah. career, but um, I mean, how? What so initially I got to Joburg, and the first element was for me to study music, yeah. right? And then life happened. <laughs> when I got to Joburg, I think three, three, three months down the line, I got my first gig. Amazing. I was 18, 17, 18. Wow. I got my first gig, and I couldn't turn back ever since. So yeah. I've just been tapping into different things, you know, because growing up, I... I experienced quite a number of things in my life. At some point, I had to run a driving school. At some point, I had to run a construction company. At some point, I was doing drugs. 
You know, so it's like a, sure. a bash of... I was going to say you're super entrepreneurial until the point that you <laughs> said you were doing drugs. But no, you did have quite a journey. And of course, you did go through quite a bad boy era. Yeah. Uh, that's also where you had a child, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. So you were obviously in a, in a phase in your life where you were looking for something and kind of, you know, I, I always have this analogy of being out in the ocean and kind yeah. of grabbing, wanting to grab yeah, something. Yeah, just wanting just, to grab into something. I think yeah. another thing is... Is the idea of, of skipping stages. Yeah. I, I had to learn it the hard way, you know, like yeah. going through high school, going through tertiary, getting a job, you know, like like those those basic steps of life. Sometimes when you miss a couple, yeah, it kind of takes you to a point where, you know, you're looking for a place to hold on to, you know. Because yeah. um, I was like, I was quite young, man, you know, introduced into the music business. Everyone I ever thought I would meet in my life was right in front of me, you know what I mean? I'm traveling with people I never thought I'd be with in my life, you know. I'm, I'm, I was everywhere, basically. Yeah. At some point, I was in Amsterdam. Like I was a 19-year-old walking around Amsterdam. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, a little is, this is where I am, you know? Yeah. And all I had to do was sing to get there, you know? So it was like, at some point, I kind of lost connection of, of, why, of why I was in Joburg mm. to pursue myself as a musician, to be a good boy. And then that bad boy stage was like, yo, man. Go in and go so in what hard. helped you pull it all together? I mean, what, what pulled you out of that really bad phase in your life? Because I think when people look at you now, they see this beautiful, <laughs> wholesome, really yeah, yeah, yeah. talented guy who's so, you know, who sings the most beautiful love songs. I'd say, I'd say my son and my mother. Yeah. Those were the, like, the two people that gave me a wake up call. Was there a catalyst name, to, for you to yeah, say Yeah, it was like, yo, because I, I remember going home to go visit, you know. Yeah. And when I walked in the door, my mother was like, there's no way you're going back to Joburg. I was really, like, why? Just... She was like, I can see you're not in a good space. There's no way. At least be here for like a year or so. Yeah. Gather yourself. And that was the time when I connected really with my son, you know. And then I realized that, ish, I'm actually running out of time. I'm about to barge out. I need to put myself in the right space. And then, hey, bounce back. Yeah. And you're becoming the father that your son obviously can, you know, respect and yeah. admire and look up to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Having a child, and I think you were 22 when you had him. Yeah. How did it change your life? How did it make you grow up? Ooh, quite a lot, man. That's when you start waking up and you realize that nappies are no child's play, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, sure. you have to buy milk now, you know? There's like, like a huge part of my life had to change because now I have a responsibility and I have something to... I can't just now make money and go and just yeah. go spend it. Now I must make money and keep it. And yeah. Because I need to take care of this specific soul that came into life, you know? And so I'm like, he kind of gave me that wake-up call of saying, hey, dude, yeah. You need to calm down, like, think of your life in a different light. Yeah. So I'd say that it was the idea of me understanding that now I'm a grown person. Now I'm going to start saving money. This guy is here. He needs to go to school. Yeah. And my parents were like, yo, this is your child. <laughs> yeah. Totally. We took care of you. You taking care of that. And yeah. I think for them, it wasn't really a matter of, it was just a lesson for me, like, for me to say, hey, wake up. You know, so at some point I'd sit there and my, and my mother would phone me and be like, yo, your son doesn't have nappies, what's up? What are you doing? Yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, I kind of forgot, I'm sorry, you know? And then I have yeah, to... Yeah, there's no forgetting. Yeah, so you've got and then that's, what, that's when you remember that, oh, you can't forget that. You no. can't forget that you have someone that needs to eat that's just going to cry and not say anything until yeah. you actually, you know? And I was like, okay, now I need to grow up. That's exactly. how I got to that point of... And I think out. you can always look back at that and be quite grateful, actually, for some of those things. Quite a lot, man. You know, like, this, this, that's, that's the saying that says that if I were to relive my life again, yeah. just don't take away the rain. Yeah, that's like, beautiful. Yeah, I, the rain is, is who I am today. Exactly. And do you think that all of that together has created, uh, I suppose, all of your inspiration on the music that you write? I, I always say to my friends, all of that in my life created a masterpiece that I look at and I call myself a rainbow today because I've got so many colors to my life. I've, I've experienced so many things. So it's like a masterpiece for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're so happy to have you here. And we literally have the whole show to find out so much more about you yeah, yeah. and perhaps get you to sing a song or two for us. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> How are your cooking skills? Good? Cooking skills, quite good. Quite good. I give myself a good, a good number. But okay. there's chefs, so immediately, like, you need to downgrade yeah. your... Your levels, you know? Exactly. Yeah. So we're going to be back in just a little while and we've got the fantastic Musa who's going to be cooking with us in the kitchen a little while later. We'll see you after the break.
Loma fresh milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. And if you've just joined us, good timing because things are going to get really tasty in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. Clover's snack pack yogurts are the perfect size for your little one's tea time snack at school. But if you can't resist having it for breakfast as well, Clem has a really delicious homemade granola, which is perfect to enjoy with your yogurt at breakfast or even to pack up and uh, go with you while you're on the move. So... What are we going to do? Okay, so now you know you're on a good track when you start picking out all the ingredients separately and you kind of just start finishing it like that already. Yeah. This is really good for you and we haven't added any extra sugar to it today. The sugar we're getting is a natural sugar from our cranberries. Perfect. And a little bit of sweetness that comes from our hot chocolate that we're actually using today. So let's go through the ingredients. We've got some nice dark chocolate, again yes. creating that illusion of sweetness. But we all love dark chocolate. It's so yeah. good. <laughs> Almonds, dried cranberries. Yeah. And some pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Sesame seeds. And that's that hot chocolate I was talking about. It's low in sugar and actually high in protein. Look okay, out for that one. Amazing. And then some cinnamon. Beautiful. Really great. And some coconut and some oil coconut. because Oof. we just love it so much. Delish. So I'm going to ask you These to are all my favorite things so far. So what must I start okay, So with? I'm going to just chuck the... Are these sunflower seeds? Yes. You said sesame just now. Oh, did I? My bad. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Sunflower seeds. Okay. Pumpkin seeds. Yeah. I'm going to just roughly chop some almonds. Okay. You can go in with the cranberry salon. Okay. And Ooh. cranberries are natural antioxidants as well. Now, if you want all of these, if you want this delicious recipe and, of course, the shopping list, all you need to do is SMS the keyword CLOVER to double three six five zero, and we'll send you all that you need to know. As we said before, summer's coming. You're definitely going to need this in your kitchen at home. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay. okay. These guys are going in whole. There we go. Why not? And then your chocolate. Oh, chocolate okay. you don't add now. Okay. So the hot chocolate you can add and your cinnamon. Okay. And a little bit of the coconut Some oil. Hot chocolate. I think chocolate is just such mm. a satisfying flavor. It's just it so really amazing. Is. And again, the cinnamon, it creates that illusion of sweetness, yeah. even though there isn't any. Okay. And then a little bit of your um, coconut oil just to bring it all together. All right. And I'm sure you saw that there's some toasted coconut. That's also there. A little this, bit this of the coconut oil, not all of it. Eh? Not all of it. You don't need it. Just, just enough to bring it all together. Okay. To bind. This is full of flavor and textures, which is really, really great. You'll find that if you've got a lot of texture in your dish, you actually feel a lot more satisfied. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I feel that, like, you know, as it is, it's quite difficult to get kids to eat, like, really healthy things. So this is like faking a whole lot of healthy stuff, but disguising it with the chocolate so that they can think it's healthy. And unfortunately, nowadays, you're going to have to fake it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But I've got a culinary palate the same as a child, which means <laughs> I'm going for the chocolate all the way. Okay, what next? Okay, the cool. coconut so That's going to go on our baking tray. Okay, and then you can the add the coconut. Yeah, you can totally. Okay. And then that's going to go to a baking tray. It's going to go into the oven just to kind of cook for about 10 minutes, just to kind of oh, set all so the ingredients good. together. All right. What you can end up with is that, like that little bowl that you got on the side. And is this granola? Yeah. I mean, maybe this was a simple thing, and most people will understand that this is how granola is made, but I never so knew simple. that that's how it's made. So we can okay, actually so pair it, with, it our, with our snack packs, which are perfectly sized, a 70 gram little pack. So cool. So I'm probably going to like dish them out. So it's going to pop it. Yeah. And there you go. Delish. So the trick is not to add the chocolate to your granola in the beginning because it's going to melt in the oven. Yeah. So all you do is you take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that. Yes. A little bit of this. And you're winning. I mean, Clem, breakfast made. That's amazing. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm going to use it as my snack of the day. I absolutely love it. And if you want to know how to make this fabulous, healthy granola yourself, all you need to do is have a look at this quick recap. <laughs> Clover fresh milk is way better. 
Made with Love by Clover. I tell you, working in this kitchen is definitely one of the perks of my life. <laughs> Delicious. Now, I hope you're ready to get cooking because after the break, we start our cook along with special guest Musa Sukwini, and we're making Asian steak parcels with chilled chili noodles. Mm, just the name of that is delectable itself. <laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So we are about to have a lot of fun in this kitchen. I'm armed with my hair fabulous chef, Okone. And of course, we've got Musa in the kitchen and you've got Clem. How are your cooking skills? Like, are you, what's your go-to dish at home? Stink, if it's fire outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a fire outside. Okay, so you're the bride master then. Yo, man. I consider cooking. Can I can I at least call it cooking? Is that okay? Yeah, of That's course. cooking. Yeah. And of something's course, happening, there's fire, <laughs> there's heat. And, it just... <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we want you to be part of all the action. So if you've got any question or comments, or if you need any culinary tips from many of our chefs, all you need to do is give us a call on 021-430-9881. 021-430-9881. All right, chefs, are we ready? We are ready. ready. Hands are washed, sleeves are rolled up. Do you consider me chef as well? Do you call me chef as well today? We or... Oh, my yeah, darling, you, unless that's you, you want to okay. be a singing chef. All right. <laughs> so move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got some beautiful, beautiful, small steaks in the loft today. Yeah, tiny. And these are your the rumps, okay? Do I need to demonstrate where the rump comes from on the... No. Okay, there we go. Well Sorry. done, Jeannie. <laughs> done. Do you, do you want to do that again? <laughs> do you want to do that again? I don't work under pressure. It's oh, all there spontaneous. We go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't work on demand. No. <laughs> and it's a beautiful piece of steak, okay? We've got a nice bit of fat on the outside. Yeah. Uh -huh. And all that delicious meaty goodness on the inside. Oof. Very important that you don't overcook this one. If you think yeah. about the rump, right? Okay, so you're like walking the whole day, you're moving that muscle. Yeah. It's a very busy muscle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 if you're going to overcook that, it's going to be so... <laughs> 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 if you're going <laughs> to... <laughs> anyway, yes. If you overcook it, it's going to be like leather, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, you just wanna... so, could I, yeah, you cook it. 
Okay. There you I'm go. Doing we that. Just, just want the rump to sizzle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let the rump this sizzle. This is what okay. happens uh, when summer's around the corner. You just want the rump rum. to stun. That's it. All right. So I'm let not me... sure if this rump is, is where we're at. Why do you but keep them standing behind me then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rump that oh, sizzles. Okay. All right. I'll stick to the rump that sizzles. There we go. <laughs> so, could I, you can tell us how you're going to season it, how you're going to start cooking it. Right, it's, and as you said, it's very easy. You cannot overcook this. You don't want to be chewing down and going crazy. So it's easy. We are just going to season it very lightly because we actually have a nice glaze that goes with it. So Ooh, we still yeah. want a bit of flavor. They don't just want salty rump. That is not nice. Right. So just salt and pepper. And right here, Jeannie, can you please sprinkle some smoked paprika? Definitely. There you go. I and what does this do? Mm. Give like a little spice. Really it gives it a nice flavor. A little bite. This, this is how. This is the trick to your in, inside house oh, brie. Like it gives it that smoky taste that you get from if you would have your brie outside. Oh well, there you have it. That's mm. the little trick that you need: smoked paprika. And for all the rest of the recipe, and of course all the other details, all you need to do is SMS the keyword "eat" to double three six five zero, and of course all that information will be sent right to your mobile phone. Okay, that side as well. Yep. All right. So you're going to get those steaks cooking. I see your pan is smoking hot. Musa, you and I are going to yeah. do some onion pickles for Konaye's pickled onions. So he's very specific. You might his he, onions? He, he looks very tame and like polite right there, but he's an angry chef. Not true. He gets angry. Look, look at that. Look but at look that. Look at your eyes. Like, how do you say not true? <laughs> With those angry <laughs> eyes. Okay, so he's very specific. Let me teach you how to do this. Okay. So you want to have nice little petals. You don't want to have a big chunk. We're also gonna have onion breath the whole day. All right? You don't wanna. It's like. No, no. So I've got to. No one rum is involved. No, you gotta, oh, you, no. Uh, you, you know what I mean? No, not at all. See okay. what I did there? So I got a nice <laughs> knife for you. Be careful. It's sharp. It's very sharp. Is it really? So we're gonna go straight down the middle. We've already cut it in half. So we're gonna got. Now we've got our quarters. And you know, kind of, you can see you've got these little layers inside the onion. Yeah. Okay, so I always say onions are like Let's people. They're layers in every person. Okay. okay. Listen to that. Can yeah. You yeah, oh. I see you, I see you. Listen to that. <laughs> okay, listen to that sizzle. <laughs> that was, that was, that was a sizzle. Yeah, <laughs> sizzle. You got your sizzle. And do you do one at a time, or do you want to put both in? So we're now one at a time, in. because the thing is, once you cloud portions. or overcloud the pot, it will just end up boiling. Okay. All the That's juices come up, and then you just have oil drum. A little sizzle. Okay, so while they're busy with the steak, I'll just show you. Do you see now, you guys, you were talking now, Musa, like, that we, we, this is intense. Chef Akona here is gonna, uh. So here we go. <laughs> nice and fine, like super, as thin as you can go at a slight ah. angle. I wanna see the knife. I wanna see the knife. Do, do that, get it right? Get it right? Here we go. Yeah. Mm. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Well, yes. Really? yes. 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 <laughs> that's not doing That's it. That's it. So then you keep on going. And that's gonna go into a bowl with some red wine vinegar or any vinegar you have at home and some sugar, you gotta balance it out, and then that's gonna start the cooking ah. process. I like some heat, we're gonna add some chili in there, what do you think? Chef, is that chef, right chef. with you? Chef, chef you made you, was that me? Chef, do you were ah, I'm not with you, why not, yes. Yeah, chili, chili's good Chili's good, chili's okay, good. cool. <laughs> so let's get those onions in the bowl, <laughs> just like that. Ah. Red wine vinegar ah. goes in. I hope my slices are right. It's all good, it's all good. Red so red you need more? A little more, a little more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some the sugar to put to balance out that uh -huh. vinegar. And is that for a pickled onion? That's for a pickled onion. Oh, okay. That, that vinegar came in quite strong, man. Mm. Huh? It is. I mean, Chef yeah. Ken, yeah. like, you can pickle many... If you have many other things you can sort of pickle besides onions. Yeah. You can do fruits as well. Yes. Pickled okay. fruit? Definitely. How do you pickle fruit? What is the most common pickled fruit? I'd say it would be your peaches and your apricots. Those are those are the ones. Wow. Because after some time, they actually bring out a bit more sweetness. Yeah. That sort of contrasts like with the with the vinegar. We're on the same page. That is amazing. <laughs> okay, Musa, I'm gonna, now I'll just I'll stop from chili. Musa, you're gonna go at this. While you're doing no, that, I, can't, no, I need you to finish okay. that because the way you just went in, you're like. <laughs> the, the, important thing always, the important thing is always look at what you're doing. Okay. While you look at me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, like, okay. right. Is that enough? Okay, cool. Enough showing off for me now. So that's going to marinate. The okay. steak's going to get beautifully cooked. We're going to add a bit of a glaze. What's in your glaze, real quick? We have Indonesian soy sauce. Now, this is much thicker, much sweeter soy sauce than you usually get from your local supermarket. Mm -hmm. And then we have mirin right here. So the only thing you do, mix those together, 
and you glaze your rump, and then so, that's it. And we're gonna do that during the ad break. When we come back, we're gonna start slicing up some meat. We're gonna start getting those parcels ready. All right, so we've got our parcels coming up in a little while. But first, Winner Home is South Africa's premier interior design reality competition. And it's proudly brought to you by Private Property. If you vote for your favorite design duo, you could win incredible prizes in the bi-weekly giveaway. Now, the latest prize up for grabs is a Grower Smart Control Rain Shower System valued at 11,000 Rand. So get your entries in now and stand a chance of not only winning the bi-weekly prize, but you also get automatically entered into the grand prize, a home of your own at the Eye of Africa Gulf and, and Residential Estate. And this estate comes with finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone and Premier Appliances by Grundig to the total value of three million rand. Take a look at how you can enter. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favorite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes. And one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. Put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize. Your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Gulf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone as well as premier home appliances by Grundig with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home. Oh, how's that sizzle? And our steaks are looking beautiful. After the break, we're getting going on those chilled chili noodles. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. There's utter chaos on this kitchen today, but by the looks of it, it's going to be all worth it. Doesn't this look delicious to you? Really? Oh, good. Like you, you were saying how? that you can make a good steak. I don't know if your steaks can look that good. Really? My steaks? You really want to take it there? Yeah. Do you want to add my steaks <laughs> to a chef conversation? Oh, definitely. How low is that blow? Like, oh, look at you. You're like, I have faith in you, though. I, I, yeah, I, 
I, I, I was totally I'm giving you faith. Okay, that <laughs> looks sensational. <laughs> Yummy. Clem, what is the All next right. step? So now the marinade in the steak, so you know, so that's going to kind of reduce slightly, become nice and sweet and sticky. I was cheeky because I asked you to cook an extra steak for me, so to add it to my dish. So let's get started on the dish that I'm going to do. I've got some beautiful rice noodles over here. Yeah. If you could just add it to our water, that's going to come up to a boil now. Is rice noodles one? are awesome because if you Should feel like pasta, in, yeah, or? you can just pop it in. If you feel like pasta, you don't want to be too bloated, rice noodles are great. Mm. Gluten-free. Oh, so these no. are rice noodles. Rice noodles. So it's nice and light, you're still getting that texture Feels though. Feels good coming here now, I know there's rice noodles. Yeah. Rice, noodles. rice noodles. I just knew noodles. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've been so obsessed with roasted garlic, and I, you know, it's since you've been here, we've been loving on roasted garlic like there we have no go. idea. So we've had it in the loft. As a, it's a standard now. We will Roasted always garlic. Uh, ro you, you give that a smell. You give that a smell. Mrs. just saying to himself, that's what the smell is. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, well, that's all. Oh, that's a good bro. That's good, right? It's too nice. It's too nice. Exactly. So I'm going to tell you how I like preparing it. This is going to build a sauce. So I'm going to need your help with this one. Okay. So if you can add a little bit of soy sauce to that bowl for me. This is the soy sauce right there. You should dump it in here. You can. Not so all of it. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's my trick. I usually throw it all in. It is. I always do. You do? Mm -hmm. A little bit of ginger going in? Yeah. Okay, um. so you, use my trick with the roasted garlic. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need... Yeah, you can start mixing. So with all my right. roasted garlic, super easy. I like smashing it, okay? Don't be, don't be nice about it. Just like that. Break it all up. Makes it Ooh. a nice roasted garlic paste. There wow. we go. It's going to be nice and pungent, but you want that flavor that's in there. So mm -hmm. now I love chilies with this one. This, these noodles are going to be chilled slightly. And it's gonna have a delicious. Strong. It smells good, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's, seeing as you're on the vibe, let's see. I've got some honey in here. I feel like it, as, it, as it drips, you should be like singing. The, the honey? <laughs> <laughs> For what? I'm just, I'm just going with it. I got with some honey, honey in oh. here. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, look at this. You, why did you stop? Oh, okay, one okay, more time. One more time. Something like that. One Come. more time. One more time. I got some honey in here. There we go. Drip drop. Stirring, Musa, Clem, Ginny D. Oh! <laughs> oh. Boom! <laughs> well, that came out of nowhere. Oh. That's great, that's great, I'm going to change jobs. So now you've got to outshape him. You've got to outshape him, like, done, it's done. Okay, now, I've got an idea for you, because I remember when I was watching you on Idols, and you did that. When I've got that feeling, oh, I got oh. it. Uh, 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 yeah, oh, yes. do it, do it, I can't say. Please do it. Well, do you, it. Did, well, you see, did you see me dancing to it? I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, but no, you've got to do a little like a pillow of that song for us, because I you think that was the song... Was it that one or Let's Get It On? Which was the one? It was, it was. It was a baby. Whoa. I'm hot just like an oven. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I need some loving. Uh, Baby, Ooh. I can't hold it much longer. Ooh. It's getting stronger and stronger. When I get that feeling, I want rum and steak. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You, that's very really good. Got you see, right, when you throw right. honey in the food, that's what oh, it inspires—a voice like honey. That's so good. You didn't say we throw it all Yo. in. Woo. All right. Okay. So getting you, hot now, in here. Tell me, I'm so surprised. No, it's the pot. She means it's getting really hot. <laughs> oh. That's what she means. All right. Okay. Are these noodles not like the two minute ones, like normal? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Three. There we go. So okay. like a three. Was it like three? Yeah, it's a three minute noodle. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So back to the cooking. Yes. Back to the cooking. Right. Back to the so cooking. So that sauce is looking amazing. Like I said, there's chili. This is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, there's chili in this dish. A little bit of green, a little bit of red. Different okay. flavors. One of each. It's going to be hot, but we can handle it. Right? Right? Yes. 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 yes, I can The silence, the silence kind of said a lot. lot there. No, because he knows you have I can say handle it. Twice. The heat. <laughs> 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 All right, some toasted peanuts going in there. Okay. And then some basil. I'm not sure this is still me doing this because that's it's you, but that, that, that's, that's no, all you. That's all you. Good. Some basil. That's you can, you can just. Right. That kind of umami flavor. I can already taste it. It's so okay. nice. This one's for you. You can just tear it all up in that sauce. There we go. Just Okone, tear, just... are your steaks resting? They're looking good, they right? They are resting and just waiting for me to slice them up. Okay, and cool. On. Yep. And right here we have our little parcels right here. And you right want to show here. them? Show them how you got that? That's very easy. You just this this is one of the easiest lettuces ever. It doesn't have to be crazy. I'm so puzzled. Nothing. It's literally just By the lettuce. Take it off. <laughs> take it all off. When I grew up lettuce was this big. 
<laughs> this thing. It's a different kind of lettuce. Yes, it's a different kind of lettuce. But it's really good. <laughs> it's, it's so nice. Mm, it is I really, really nice. like eating like this, actually. Okay, and what happens if you're vegetarian? What would you use as a replacement for that steak? Could you do like a little tofu steak for you the You could, lettuce? absolutely. Definitely. I mean, with, with this parcel, you can even have roasted veggies on it. Roast oh, them, yeah? cool them down a bit, add them to the parcel. It's a, it's a no-fuss thing. Because okay. it's just your little boat for anything you want to put in. Yeah, I love Literally. it. And then would you Sounds eat it with like your hands? Like take. literally yeah, just... That's it. <laughs> you could be fancy and have your canapes in this. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so yeah, spring is coming. We're going to have your branches with champagne. Why not? Exactly. Definitely. I think that's an amazing idea. So what's going to happen is with this, Abus is asking what's going to happen with this dressing now. We're keeping all the flavors as is. We're not going to cook it. Those noodles, which are almost done, I'm going to chill them down now. That's going to go straight onto the cold noodle. It's going to be hot, salty, sweet. It's just going to be crazy. Paired with his steak. Oh. I can't wait. I can't wait. The this Asian is, persuasion is, is quite an amazing little feast of flavors we're going to have in this kitchen right now. Okay, so in summary, we've got the steaks that have been cooked. We've yeah. got our little flavor boats mm -hmm. waiting for, Definitely. waiting to be layered, I suppose. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we've got that sauce that was absolutely amazing. The umami flavors coming that out of that Musa sauce. Musa the sauce. sauce that Musa Musa sauce. made. <laughs> it's, we're going to call it Musa sauce from there now on. Got That's sauce. It. <laughs> Thank you. So when we come back from the break, we're going to plate up the, the beautiful little steak parcels. We toss everything together for the noodles and we're eating. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, we'll see you in a minute for all of this delicious food. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> Yummy! Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Well, today has been filled with Asian influences, Asian fusion, and two singing chefs in the last. I'm as a chef. Not well, yet. After that, you're definitely a chef. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> I okay. wouldn't quit your day job just yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. We've got to keep you singing. Uh, <laughs> all right, so our steaks are perfectly rested. I'm going to ask you to start slicing them. Yeah. I'm going to need a few slices as well. Our noodles are cooked, so I've taken them out. And I have to set them in some ice water. So I can add that straight to our serving bowl right now. Okay. That's looking good. How are those steaks? They are beautiful. Oh, oh, beautiful. They've absorbed all of that sauce. How amazing. Well, we're not done yet with the sauce. That's why we still have the pan right there. We'll okay. slice them, put them back and coat them in, 
then on to our parcels. Oh, wow. Definitely. Cool. That looks and so great. In my mind, all I need is pop gravy. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's great. Look at that. I agree with you. Some, some pop and gravy and that steak. In my mind, that's... that's that itis. Yo, man. You know? like, oh. I'm, I'm... I see... Yeah, but like, some pop steak, I'm good. No, you're having noodles. We're having huh. steak. I'm that's not, why no. there's a no. stove in between. Wait, wait. So we're having noodles with the soil. Yeah. <laughs> You're going vegetarian, it's all right. Yeah. It's okay. I wouldn't do that to you. Still okay? in, still <laughs> this is still me, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So while you're busy slicing up your steak, I'll let you keep on doing that. Don't worry, we've got a steak as well. There's two in there. So yeah. I've got your, your beautiful sauce that you've made. I'm just going to pop that on top of our cold noodles. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then with Asian food, garnishing is everything. You got you eat with your eye first as well. So Definitely. some beautiful spring onions. That's gonna go down. Ooh. But first, I'm gonna give it a little toss before I add any more. So you make sure like each noodle has that coating on there. And I can smell the chili on you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Wanted that hot chili. Got yeah. it. Definitely. Delicious. Just like that. Cool. Yes. Almost done. Almost done. Yes. Almost done. I did a good job. Yeah. A little yeah, bit of lime. I'm very oh, wait. Can you get the chili? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're we looking after you. It's healthy. Yeah. A little bit of lime. <laughs> Just don't rub your eyes after you've been tired. <laughs> oh, I learned that the hard way. Did yeah. you really? I do? learned that the hard way. Definitely. Oh, what happened? For a few hours, I couldn't really see much. All I could do was just cry. <laughs> I was just crying for a few hours. There we go. Oh, that's, that's great. Should we mix that up for you? Yes, right. please. Ooh. Should we cut the second one for them? Yes, yes. let's do it. Really yes. Yes. Guys, I'm so impressed with you. Look at there, oh. there we go. Look at that. There that looks so go. good. I don't think. I, I don't know I when last three men in a kitchen have created so much beauty. <laughs> Yep, no? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're not agreeing with me. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs> the only reason I never said anything is we created so much beauty. I wasn't sure whether the beauty this, this or the beauty that. It's crazy. Oh, so there's three crazy. men, Ooh, good three one, men man. with creating beauty. You there know, we go. This, I like that. Be that. Oh, that is That's amazing. what I was thinking as well. I don't want to say much, you know. Yeah. 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 We just start yeah. laying <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Kunde, yeah. Before How we, do you plate these guys up? Yeah. Show us. So, before we plate that, we have another little sauce that goes on top. Okay. We have a honey mustard Must dressing. Yeah. So right in here, we have Dijon mustard and English mustard. Yeah. So English mustard adds a little bit of heat to it. We have our honey. Yeah. Right here. Oof. And white wine vinegar. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, both mustards are very thick. So should it be too thick or because people like sauces to their liking. If you like yeah. it thick, you like it runny. So we, you can add just a little bit of water to sort of loosen it up just okay. a bit. That's about it. And then we lay our steaks onto the parcels and yeah. drizzle a bit of the honey mustard. Can I use my hands? They are clean, I promise. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Musa, how about you just pop a few of those steaks? I'll give you some tongs there. A few oh. slices are there on, on the noodles. You can go the straight noodles, in. I just go into the steak or? From the, from the steak into our bowl, how's that? From the steak? You can just layer it on top of the noodles. <laughs> You're not serious? Yeah. We're not putting it on the... Nope. <laughs> Forget them. Moose oh. is not improving. We do you know, like, uh, I feel like it looks wrong. Like if I no. Just take the whole steak and dump it in here. No, okay. no, no. I mean, I mean the sliced ones. And then they don't have noodles, though. They've got... <laughs> I like how... We're all like sharing. Our, you're all we're about sharing. The sharing. But we're yeah. going to be all eating together. We're all eating together. So I should pop this in here. Go for it. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> so not forgetting <laughs> the wonderful pickled onions you made right there. That's what oh. layer on top. A little I bit of heat. The noodles. There you go. Uh, you can have those. Oh, yeah, how delicious noodles. is that? So good. So good. So this I just pop here? Just like that? Oh. This, that's us. Look at that. So we have two beautiful meals right now. Exactly. And we did it all from scratch. When we can't go to the east, we bring the east to us. Definitely. And this is sensational. I love a pickled onion. Oh, so do you by the looks of it. Yes. And then That's we just mine. throw this sauce over it. Just over it. On the top. Yes. Yeah. Little... Yeah, the steak is here. I think I'm good with this one. Oh, that looks sensational. There we go. It's so beautiful. And if you've been cooking at home with us, please let us know how your dishes turn out because this is, I mean, I'm truly inspired. I'm going to make this at home. Well, one of my, my dinner parties. 
Now, <laughs> Winner Home is South Africa's premier interior design reality competition and it's proudly brought to you by Private Property. If you vote for your favorite design duo, you could win incredible prizes in the bi-weekly giveaway. The latest prize up for grabs is a grower smart control rain shower system valued at 11,000 Rand. So get your entries in now and stand a chance of not only winning the bi-weekly prize, but you also get automatically entered into the grand prize, a home of your own at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. And this estate comes with finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone and premier appliances by Grundig to the total value of three million rand. Take a look at how you can enter. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. SA's favorite interior design reality competition, Winner Home, sees three design duos transform empty spaces into lavish homes. And one of them could be yours. To enter, visit privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favorite design duo. Put yourself in line to win amazing prizes in the bi-weekly draw and automatically be entered for a chance to win the grand prize. Your choice of one of three fully designed homes in the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate in the south of Joburg. The finished property will include luxurious finishes by Plascon and Caesarstone as well as premier home appliances by Grundig with a total prize value of more than 3 million rand. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the Private Property website. Watch the breathtaking properties come to life as the design drama unfolds and stand a chance to win the biggest prize on South African television, your very own dream home. All right, and the moment we've all been waiting for, well, I certainly have. Musa, take it away, my darling. Deba Chalova Lo Kandi Bona Wena Andi Sabasi No Guzi Bamba Dingo Maga Kulu Kandi Bona Wena and all in the oiga Oh, go tete nawe Angotwa no mkita Kani gituba Ndi tete nawe Oh, ndekte la mamela Ndekte la mamela Sondela, Cabeza Sondela, Dick Tando and Bella, Tando and Bella.
I mean, that song was so beautiful, really. That's one thing that I love about music is that even if you don't understand what the words are, it transcends language. That was so. What's the song about? Nomkita man is a beautiful Kosa song, which which merely means Nomkita is a beautiful woman's a beautiful woman that never ages. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, with that being said, so in the whole song, it's like, it's like me trying to explain to her that I truly do love you. All I'm asking you is just for you to listen. Like I just need you to listen. Like never mind what I'm about to do, just listen. Yeah, yeah. That's you can see why he's a multi-award winner, and and so absolutely successful. Yeah. No, but listen. Four years, four years, two albums, and they've sold hundreds of thousands. I mean, what does that mean to you? Because that's, I mean, where to next? Where? How do you build on that? Um, I'm actually working on my third album already. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm in studio working on my third album. It's looking great. Yeah. It's got quite a number of international features on the album. This time around, I'm trying to break it loose. Yeah. I wish I could share, man, you know? <laughs> no, I want you to share because I, I know I you're share. actually really good at, like you, you like working with, you know, absolute legends in yeah. South African music and you collaborate yeah, yeah, quite yeah, a fair yeah. deal. So what's happening? I want to know, uh, I want you to share. Hint, hint. <laughs> I probably have like Anthony Hamilton producing one of my songs. Whoa! 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 Yeah. So it's like you know it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be a lovely album. I've got artists from Nigeria that I'm working mm, with. Amazing. Um, it's not the popular ones that people know. It's like people people don't even think about these people. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've got I've got an Egyptian I've got an Egyptian lady that I'm working with. She's gonna be doing my intro. I've got oh. quite a number of things happening around the album, man. It's gonna be such an exciting one. I'm I so excited wait. to hear. That's it. why I'm work. That's why I start work now. Yeah. Because it's only gonna come out next year on April. Oh well, I can't wait to hear yeah. it. Yes. I'm still so, working uh, in the how about you let us know? And you're working in the kitchen for us. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, because this is so good. Okay, let us know what so, you think about it. I, I, you, you, I feel like you're not. No, I'm tucking in now. I you're just want to know. We were safe. asking you on our Twitter poll which Asian dish is your favorite. And so far, sweet and sour pork, 28%, stir fried chicken, 48%, corn and noodle soup, 4%, and chicken chow mein, 20%. Mm, thank you so much for your, your contribution. All right, and mm. delicious. Mm. How good? Mm. I cannot. Right. I can well, say Chef Musa. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. And of course, to you as well. We love having you in our kitchen with us. <laughs> we'll be right back again tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, good night and happy eating. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, now I can coming up tomorrow on Afternoon Express. We sit down with Matthew Mensa, who started an organization that helps young girls in orphanages find better work and school opportunities. Plus, style icon Trevor Stierman launches a solo exhibition celebrating African women through photography. All of that tomorrow, live at 4 p.m. on SABC3. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.